now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Oh, where were you <laughs> five years ago today? I know where this guy was. He was oh, in yeah. the middle of it. Oh, it was a wild storm. Yeah, it some, was. Pe some people saying they saw the memory come up and they didn't reshare it because it, it was a tough morning. That I mean, was that was a tough day. Tough you, day to get around. Yeah, yeah I mean, I had to, to walk work. to work that morning. It was over 30 inches right in the Champlain Valley. The Pi Day storm of March 2017, actually a blizzard. We definitely hit blizzard criteria. Uh, 12 to 18 inches along Interstate 91 there off to the east. So no matter where you were, it was heavy snow. And there is the uh, the infamous goggle clip from Cornelia Street. Had to reshare that because it was a whiteout that we had. And of course, very different today. And for the rest of the week, we've got a spring preview coming. This is Juniper Island. We're looking from the top of Church Street out over the lake. And you can really see how all of the ice is there between, say, the Burlington waterfront and the island. But on the other side, we're seeing open water at this point. So we'll watch that 43 right now in Burlington. We're seeing some rain and snow come in, rain in Messina, snow in the higher parts of the Adirondacks, and that's how this night will go. It's just too mild for much, if any, of an issue. But as this moves over, there may be an inch or two of snow in the mountains. That's round one. Round two will be tomorrow afternoon. Same idea, though, on the mild side. 46 in Plattsburgh, 44 in Lebanon right now. St. Jay coming in at 41. So here's Futurecast 11 o'clock tonight. We're seeing that rain and snow move in. But in a lot of cases, even if it is snow, the temp is just above freezing. That is largely done by sunrise tomorrow, but the clouds are still with us. We'll get a break of sun if we're lucky. And then look at this, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, the snow is moving back in. Still some rain as we move along in Futurecast is a little uh, little trouble there, but you can see the rain is in southern Vermont at 8 o'clock tomorrow. And then as we move along, that's gone and the sun starts to come out on Wednesday. So we're really keying in on the three day stretch of Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for being the nicest days with the sun. Before we get there, though, we have this snow map that doesn't have much on it. It's basically one to three inches in the middle of the Adirondacks and also the higher spots in the Northeast Kingdom. So most of us not getting that. It's really the summits especially. And then there's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have the 60 potential in there Thursday and Friday, but I could easily see 65 if rain stays away and if the clouds stay away. It's just how spring goes, you know that. But I would just remember Thursday and Friday as being the, the nicer days this week. St. Patrick's Day, of course, Thursday too. So as we go through this night, we've got most of us staying above freezing. The rain and the snow moving through should be done by morning. And then round two is in here tomorrow afternoon. But when it moves in tomorrow, again, we're up in the low 40s. 41 in Jericho and 39 for Saranac Lake. Probably even some 50s in southern Vermont, so, uh, Springfield Point South. And that is certainly a sign of things to come. Wednesday, 52, sun and clouds. Same thing on Thursday, but 61 and then still 60 or so on Friday. We'll see just how much sun we get. And then we've got likely a wintry mix in here on Saturday. And I don't think there's much uh, snow accumulation in the Champlain Valley then. But by Sunday, the first day of spring snow showers. Alice, Brian.